So this is a follow-up to my last video about, I was in my other video, I was talking about Munich, the uh, 1972 Olympians that were killed, that were Israelis, and how it, there's a whole movie on it. And the movie um, is one of those movies that it's always stayed with me. Um, it, it was really done really well. You can find it. Um, and it's basically how Israel's response to what happened with the night, uh, what they did to the remaining people that were behind the Black September terrorist organization. They went into Iran, they went in undercover their Mossad agents and took these people out. And so what, the main character of it, you see him struggling with his faith, like his faith he follows, like, and then realizing, you know, he starts to feel like, am I any different than what they did? And it's that struggle. There's never really this right or wrong. I mean, I mean, what the, the terrorist organizations do, it's wrong what they want to do. They outright say they want to annihilate an entire people. If college kids want to be brainwashed by professors that are no different than Bill Ayers and Bernadine Dorn, then, then, there, then it says we need to do something about the, ed, the education system in this country, clearly, um, because that's a problem. We shouldn't, no, but no, no university should be employing people from terrorist organizations. And Weather Underground Group is no different, okay? And it's, it's amazing to me how it's all being seen. BLM stands with Palestinians, okay? They don't stand with the Palestinian people, though. They don't. They don't stand with them. They stand with Hamas, Hezbollah, the a radical Iran um, a terrorist organization that's governing that country. That's who they stand with. And then the terrorist people like Joe Biden and our, that we have here that help align and support like Obama did. That's who Obama, that's who Obama helped, okay? Let's just be clear about that. But this was a, a quote by uh, Goldemir, and it's so true. Peace will come when the Arabs will love their children more than they hate us. Yes, their hate at this group of that, that at the Jews that goes on all the way into the beginning, it's in Exodus and then it's just continued on. Is unbelievable the hate. Unbelievable and no reason they'll tell you, oh, you're killing our children. No, they they have a right to defend themselves. They have a right to defend themselves. They have a right to exist. Yet. Joe Biden, even though he gets on and says how he's, oh, we, we stand with Israel. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He just gave $6 billion to Iran last week. Are you kidding me? Nobody, nobody's buying that. He needs to be arrested. Um, anyway, this, this has been a war that has gone on for a long time. And, 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 it, it really comes down to these are people that have a right to exist. And yet there's other organizations, BLM, our universities in this country, most especially Harvard, Columbia, Yale, I would say University of Illinois, Chicago, Northwestern too. Um, they all want to side with terrorists that want to wipe out an entire race of people. And wouldn't that, that would, that would, be, that would go along with BLM because they're all about just black lives, right? But they're not grassroots. That's, it's such bullshit when people say that. They are, you can trace the money yourself. They are not grassroots. They're George Soros funded and created and then brought to life by Obama. Yeah. The, the, the great unifier, right? Yeah. Obama was anything but that. Um, but there's a very big difference. Israel has always tries to work with, he, they have never said they want to wipe out the Palestinian people. And, and many of them are friends. I mean, they're so close there that many Palestinians are friends with the Israelis, okay? It's the, this radical sect that continues to do these bombs, okay, and has done it for a long time now. And it needs to come to an end, and yet there's this grappling that goes on. And that's why I brought up the movie Munich. Um, here, let me show another picture. This is another picture from the movie, but he's a he's a Mossad agent, and so Goldemir, who's the prime minister back in 1972, because there was no justice for what they did to those innocent Olympian Israelis, um, 
she has Mossad go out and, and go into Iran, go undercover and take, take them out, the people, the money behind it, all of it. And yeah, they were paid for it. And, and really it's more he wants to do it because he loves his country and, and it was horrible what they did to those Israeli players. They were just there to play and compete. And yet there's always this issue um, the U.N. has. That's why I want the U.N. dismantled. The U.N. is a terrorist organization in and of itself. Um, another reason why you hear me go off on the nursing profession so much, because what are they doing aligning with terrorist organizations that want to annihilate an entire group of people? Those are people that should not be at the leadership of nursing, okay? Because if you're going to align with people that have those kinds of... But then it's no wonder they have aligned with BLM. Like the hospital... See, I mean, you see all the people. that, And they again, they're all higher educated. And they're out of their damn minds, okay? Who aligns with the United Nations against their own damn country? <laughs> Don't even need... I mean, stupid. Um... It's just so, all of this, it's like anybody, these kids get into these universities and they're, they're manipulated. And so what I see happening now is there's, because um, especially with social media, it's easy to socially engineer people. I mean, that's obvious. They've been doing it through social media, all social media, Instagram, Facebook, all of them to, um, uh, get kids to change their genders, right? Kids, uh, commit suicide, all these different, yeah, things like that. They know how to socially engineer. So some of these groups, somebody may, may, some people may have seen, seen, know who I'm talking, Shadow of Urza, yeah, yeah. Don't trust, I don't trust, no. I don't care what they post, don't trust. Because I see them, especially with this Israeli thing, is they are trying to socially engineer. They are, they're trying to say, oh, we have this evidence that this wasn't true that happened in Israel. And what I, the, the way they're so, trying to socially engineer is they want to make you think everything's fake and then you'll just be numb to everything. That's exactly what they want to do. You don't want to do that because not everything is fake. And if you believe in the Bible, then you, then you should... And, and you do support Trump, then look back at all of his tweets saying the danger that Israel is in and has been for a long time and calling out the people that are, 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 are wanting to align in an evil way against Israel. And that's always been the case, but he knew it way back when. Yeah, that shadow of Urza, that's, I don't supposedly is for Trump, right? But now is trying to claim that, oh, the American people... Um, started seeing how the warmongers want to get us into a war, and now they're falling for the Israel thing. I look at them as anti-Semite. That's how, that's my opinion. Do I know it for sure? No. I just that's my guess. That's my guess. Because there's somebody behind that, and 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 sadly, there's a lot of sick people that you see them. You see who they are. They're they're out marching against Israel, and Israel has never wanted to annihilate an entire race of people, yet the people marching, BLM, these universities marching for Palestine, are marching for the elimination of an entire race of people. So um, don't fall for the shadow of Urza, these people, whoever, these other people trying to act like, oh, it's just, it's a joke. No, these people, they, they have an agenda. I guarantee you they have an agenda, and the agenda is to socially engineer people and make you think everything's fake and then you won't care what happens to Israel. This movie is a good movie to watch because it, you really you don't ever come to an answer of where's the line with sacrificing your values. The fact is how many people really have any moral values? you see that most of the higher educated have none at all. And as time goes on, what I see is these channels, some of them, that claim to be um, Trump supporters or that people follow religiously. Well, have they not just been trying to social engineer too? Because really, it serves their interest, especially 
if they also want the Jews eliminated. 